this is a tire machine. This is the most basic one. Now it's real easy to use. First you have three pedals. It's basically like driving a manual car. All the way to the left is the clutch and this operates these forks. The center one operates this shovel or scoop and brings it in. It would be like the brake. It applies pressure. And then this third one would be the gas, which actually moves this all the way around. Just like, just like driving stick. It's honestly not that different. So when you are using a tire machine for the first time, one thing that's going to be hard and confusing is the scoop about how to position it and how to actually use it and things like that. The pedals, like I said, if you've driven stick before, same exact thing. But first thing you want to do is let the air out of your tire, then you want to roll it and position it in the scoop in order to break the bead. Now when you break the bead, you want the valve stem to be either at the 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock position. So you start like that, you want to get the fork in between the bead and the actual wheel, but don't damage the wheel. And then typically what that does is, and then typically what it does is that breaks the whole front bead loose, then flip the tire over, and repeat the process. Flip it. Next you want to mount the actual tire onto the tire machine and since this is an aluminum wheel I'm going to be clamping it from the I'm going to be clamping it from the inner lips using this outside I'm not going to be digging into the wheel using this outer part here so So you want it to be so you want the wheel to clamp around the lip, the inner lip of the wheel like. Now it's time to actually take the tire off the wheel. Now how you want this position is you want the valve stem here and you want and you want this arm which has a scoop on it. You basically put it up and you, you stick it right there. You basically put the scoop in here and make sure that the valve stem is in the center of that arm. Then you pull it, then you push this lever like that, and that locks it. That locks it and prevents it from going up and down. Next, you take a pry bar and you stick it in between the wheel and the bead. I'm doing this with my left hand. Stick it in between the wheel and the bead and flip the tire over like that. Then you press the gas. Goes all the way around. Basically lift the tire off the wheel, wait for the valve stem to return to the same position. And then you just lather, rinse, and repeat. Do it again for the bottom bead. So now you got your first tire off and that's the easy part. Now this particular tire is equipped with a TPMS kit, so I gotta change that. And that's just a simple uh, Torx bit. Unscrew it, take the old rubber valve stem out, put the new rubber valve stem in, and then just put the kit back on and it's all good to go. David's such a good friend, he's watching my video from yesterday. If, it, if you don't know, it's up. It's called Dab is Life. Uh, it'll be somewhere uh, right there. Put it right there, right there. That's where it'll be. Woo! I just broke the uh, head off of this TPMS kit. TPMS kits are very fragile. They actually have a lot of, they actually have a lot of metal. And if you uh, bend them, they break really easily. But if that happens, it's easy to get them off. Instead of using the normal tool to take it off, you just use a pair of diagonal cutters and it'll come right out.
There you go. Not a big thing, especially if you're replacing it. Now your new TPMS kit's gonna come with everything you need in it. Uh, this one's just a valve stem you just put in. Other ones have like intricate pieces and they look they look like this. They come with like new caps, they come with rubber seal, all that stuff. You don't really need that for this. Now that I got the uh, rubber valve stem in, this one you pull straight up. You don't want to put any uh, you don't want to put any type of flex on it because they're fragile and you'll break it, so just pull straight up. Just like that. It's set. Then you just take the old sensor and uh, reinstall it. Next is time to put your tire on. Now, when you're putting a tire on, you want to be very careful because some tires have an outside and an inside. Some tires have an outside and an inside. Some tires are unidirectional, so whichever way you mount it, that's the way it's actually gonna spin. If you mount it in reverse and put it on the wrong axle, you could actually tear and rip the tread. You don't wanna do that. If the tire doesn't have an outside and an inside, then typically what you wanna do is you wanna go with the uh, dot or serial number facing out, facing outward. So here's the dot number. Next, you wanna actually lube the tire up. So make sure you want to lube the seam of the tire, the part that's actually going to make contact with the lip of the wheel. Now as far as the lube, it doesn't need to be overdone. It doesn't need to be overdone, you don't need a hefty amount, just enough to actually lube the tire. Also, when you're putting a tire on, you want the valve stem to face directly away from the side that you're starting. Typically, you will rotate it, but if a tire is big enough, you could just push it on. And then um, they have a, the red dot and a yellow dot. The red dot indicates that there's the dot number. The yellow dot indicates a heavy spot on the tire. You want to line that yellow dot up with the valve stem because the valve stem is technically the lightest part of the tire because it has a hole in it where the valve stem actually goes. So that's technically considered a soft or light spot. The next, uh, this tire is not that, you know, not that hard, so I should just be able to push it and then just push the gas, guide the tire all the way around, take it off like that, adjust it, bring it all the way back. Now it's time to put some air in it. So. Our tire machines are based on PSI. Are based on PSI, ours goes to 60. Then there's a burst gauge on top. And then this pedal activates the air. So, and then when you push it down, it actually activates the, uh, the burst for underneath. So, and it does that. Which actually helps seat the bottom bead. Which helps seat the bottom bead, so. Put that in there. Bottom bead just seat. Just took the seat. Top bead seat now. Typically they're not that loud, but occasionally you will get a loud pop. But um, that's just it. Now you just take the tire off the machine, balance it, and not that hard. So when you line the uh, yellow dot up with the valve sim, that's called match mounting. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> it's called match mounting, so it should be perpendicular. It should be perpendicular with the valve stem, and then that just makes it easier to balance in the end. All right, now that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Click uh, here to subscribe if you want to see my Honda Civic tune-up series click here but uh see you guys next time for another car video peace